This month's design tools are actually pretty insane. Some things which are scary, some things which are super helpful, and of course some really cool paid stuff for free that you can get just by doing some little tasks in design. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hype this up anymore. Let's just get started with today's video. Now the first one we're checking out is the latest Figma update. Now this Figma update allows you to not only add video but also add controls for that video. Play, pause, forward, skip, and even the scrubbing of the videos from one point of the video to the other is available in prototype mode inside Figma. And now you can even upload heavier videos in many different formats. So you have up to 100 megabytes of upload with formats like MP4, MOV, and WebM, which I think is very important because a lot of developers will be using WebM, so it's good for designers to be using that as well. So you can basically just create your own version of YouTube or even create your own video library inside Figma. Maybe a design courses that you want to build inside Figma and then publish it for other people. The second one I'm super excited for because it's gonna come out super soon. This is called UI Zerd Auto Designer. And what it does is super simple. You just type in a description of the UI you want, a food delivery app for children. And it will make you a food delivery app targeted towards children. And not only does it create one screen, it creates multiple screens. So the entire design can be made with one prompt. This is like ChatGPT, but for UI design. So we finally have a solution like this. UI Zerd has a plethora of other AI features as well, such as automatically adding custom themes from other websites or other designs, converting your current designs into paper-like wireframes using AI, other smaller features around AI. So this can be your AI design hub now because it has all the features you can ever require from an AI design tool. Something very similar to UIZ has also surfaced. It's called Galileo AI and it's for all the Figma lovers out there. It does the same thing ChatGPT does. It converts your prompts or descriptions into an actual mobile app screen or a UI design screen, but with Figma components. So you basically can create a design and then import it into Figma and completely edit it on your own. As a USP, it's not just the design that it's creating, but when you're defining the design, if you go in detail, it will add some detailed text, descriptions, images, graphics, etc. as well. So it's not just about the UI, it's about creating specific content for that UI as well. The fact that people are able to use AI models to be able to build something like this is blowing my mind. We all love a great portfolio tool or resource. They have recently launched something called Portfolio for Designers. And what it does is it combines your work on launch. It will have multiple templates that you can use from designed specially for designers. Not only that, you can link your Contra wallet as well as Contra profile so people who are coming to your profile can directly pay you for your services on your website. You basically have an all-in-one tool for payments, for website, for everything. It also has a complete messaging platform built inside it. So if someone finds your work real cool, they can message you there and then. Now, BlueLearn, an India-based app, is the platform where all the designers need to be. Now, this platform raised $3.5 million recently, and it is the platform for all designers to be on. BlueLearn is a community-based platform where people who want to design together, where people who want to learn together join. 150,000 plus members on this application and it's based fully on networking. So you're networking with people from colleges, universities, jobs, as well as from companies. So a lot of founders or company employees you will find here on this platform. Apart from that, it also focuses on getting you hired. So if you have a good skill and you've showcased it on this platform, there are people who will reach out to you for hiring as well. You can even interact with people with a certain interest in mind or with a certain learning pattern. This is kind of like Discord, but if Discord was made for networking with other designers, they also have hackathons, live events, and speaker sessions from time to time. So you'll always get some material or resource out of this app as well. Prototype is one of the best prototyping tools out there. So if you've created a design on Figma or any other design tool, you can import it into Prototype and make some advanced level prototypes with it. So if you want to create an actual camera app prototype with all the camera functions, you can use Prototype alongside Figma. Now, Prototype has recently launched something called Prototype 101 Crash Course. This is a six hour, 20 plus lesson crash course for free. 
And if you do this or complete this course for free, they are now giving away a pro plan for one month. So if you're looking to use ProRapai for a longer period of time or learning ProRapai while earning the pro plan with it, this course is really good for you. They have the entire course curriculum laid out as well. So everything from micro interactions to conditions to advanced ProRapai features, etc. And it also has discussion and mentor threads. So you'll be able to discuss with other people who are learning with you as well as talk to some professionals who use this as well. They have all these high quality videos that you can check out, go through and learn everything about the tool as well as prototyping as well. Designers are complete geniuses by the way, but what if we had a design partner to design with? Us? Imaginary friend who sits with you and while you're designing something, this little bot called Genius jumps right into your Figma projects as a collaborator of sorts. And while you're designing, this tool is designing with you as if a real person is designing with you. This uses certain AI models to build this. And of course, it's not solving any problems for you or doing anything crazy for you, but it's matching your potential or what you can do as a designer while you are doing it. So it's learning your patterns, learning how you're designing and trying to design similar things with you. will probably cut the entire process of designing from scratch or designing a large app in half because you then have another person to work with. So if you're a designer, maybe a single solo designer working on a large project, you can have another designer working with you without having to hire someone. Now Vijay Varma, the famous designer behind all these cool illustrations I'm showing you made in Figma, has launched his own set of plugins. The first one here is Noisy Gradients. And I think this is one of the most high quality gradient packs you can get using a plugin. This Noisy Gradient plugin allows you to basically create noisy gradients, as it says, with unlimited possibilities. You can decrease or increase the noise, you can add different colors to it, and you can even generate random stuff as well. Apart from that, he has created some incredible resources for Figma. If you're a Figma fan, or if you're just making high quality content on Figma, his resources is something that you need to check out. Now, gradients is something that add life to a design. There's this thing called shadergradient.co. And Shadier Gradient basically allows you to create different kinds of gradients. These gradients are extensive in nature. They're just not basic at all. And if you want to get your hands on this, you can even use this in website design tools like Framer. All you need to do is click on create yours. You can create your own custom gradient with all these awesome uh, settings here. You can change the speed of the gradient, the noise strength, the density, the pixel density, the shape and the way that it should be spread out. It should be a plane, a spherical circles, water. You can even change the shader and animation. You can even have different moods. So city, dawn, lobby, real cool. The colors you can choose a custom as well. You can change the colors, green, blue, orange, yellow, whatever. And you can even add a custom background. So if you want a gray background or a white background, you can do that as well. Apart from this, you can change the view as well. How far the gradient is, how close the gradient is, field of view, etc. Once this is done, you can basically copy this and this gets copied to Figma and Framer. So you can use it live on your website or use it statically on Figma as well. You can even submit this so that the community can use it. And the way it's been getting submitted is awesome. You can even share it on Twitter, etc. I think this is the most underrated design tool of this month just because how beautiful things can look with a good background like this. The next one is Coco. Now, Coco is relatively new. It allows you to create an entire UX project, everything from personas to research questions, to journey maps, to UX copywriting, everything can be done with this one tool using AI. So what Coco does is basically you define what you want, what your project is all about. You can be as descriptive or as vague as you want to be, and it creates an entire UX project of sorts for you, which is both well documented and well designed as well. So you'll have these neat little documents created on your Figma, which look beautiful as well. And this was updated two days ago. So the developer is quickly bringing new features and something new to the table.